So today we're making picture frames, and we'll be making the one on the bottom right. As I've already uh, started on the one on the bottom left, I've already done that, as you can see here. I'm just showing it off. So I start with this piece of what I believe is beach. It's actually some baseboard molding. But it looks cool and it's a small enough size to make So I'll uh, cut it and then I'll plane off and make sure the edge is square. And then I'm going to get rid of that round paper edge and plane it on the side. Just making sure that it's flat. And this is a technique that I like for long cross cuts, but since this is a pretty short rip cut, this also kind of works. I'll just uh, mark it. So I'll clamp it in the moxin vise and then I'll uh, flush that in. You bang up your vise draws a little bit, but it, uh, it works pretty well. It's pretty good. I'm just gonna make another cut now. And this is how fast it actually takes. I was going a little bit too fast. So you can see. Yeah. Uh, so now I'll clean that face up with my hand plane. So stamp four. And just cleaning off that little high spot at the end. So I'm just making them equal and admiring the shavings. I'm saving those shavings for wrapping gifts. Okay, I'm not actually a weirdo that collects wood shavings. And so I marked uh, using a, mar a homemade marking gauge, just a nail on the top of wood. Uh, this is so I get the same width on both pieces. Okay. So now before I cut them, I'm gonna uh, cut a groove on one side, a rabbit, like I have here, in order to seat the picture frame. And to do that, I'm gonna use my very own rabbit plane. Mini rabbit plane. Yeah, this was uh, not easy. Oh, that kind of worked. No, it didn't. That looks pretty good. It does not. A tad bit deeper, but that's nice. cross cut and then I'll uh, draw in all the miters just have a visual guide okay so this is like a little 45 degree attachment for the shooting board just adjusting the plane a little bit it was actually a piece of uh, discarded frame from a picture frame shop that they just uh, left outside and I just cut it in half and glued it together so it's a, it makes a 45 degree angle and so I'll, uh, I'll nibble away at it until I get uh, to my line, essentially. And this should, in theory, make a perfect 45. Uh, it didn't, but we'll see later why. And here I just switch over to actually cutting off uh, most of it before uh, chewing it up with the plane just to speed up a little bit. So the results were perfect, and you can see that this one is uh, slightly longer. So now is the most tedious process of uh, 
aligning everything. I'm uh, putting a square in that corner, just checking it. And I'm going to go fix every miter now. So I'm using the block as sort of like a Kumiko. Um, like one of those Kumiko blocks. And I'm just going to use a chisel to pare down it. It's got this little groove in it that uh, makes it really simple. You can see that it's only cutting the, the last little corner. So I'll go corner by corner trying to check that. So you can see here that the top right corner is touching when the bottom left corner is a little bit loose. So that means that the, the side closest to the corner is high. And you can see that that's the only thing that's being uh, shaped away. And now it looks a lot better. The downside to this is that I'm reducing the length of each piece. And so now I check for square both inside and outside on every corner. But uh, these miters are really tight. So I'm really happy with that, except that now it's unfortunately too small for the postcard because of all the trimming. You can see the finger tapping of frustration. But we carry on to glue up. So I'm just using standard wood glue and clamping it with uh, packing tape. So the reason that my miters weren't perfect right off the uh, shooting board, which is what really should happen, is that my fence was not actually square. So I've, I've since fixed that. But now I'm sanding everything that's doing this now, and I'm saving all of this. And I'm just applying it just to fill any gaps. I don't think there were many. But... Uh, so now I'm taking the photos. I just clamped them between two pieces of uh, glass or mirrors because they were a bit bowed when they come off the printer. And I'm just trimming them. So this is the first one that I made, actually. This is going to be a double-sided one, just super gluing those together. So I went through many ideas in order to make this uh, double-sided uh, properly. That stupid. But yeah, I didn't like any of them. I tried doing these nails, so I tried drilling halfway through. Oops. And I went through by accident, so I just decided to do the same thing for the other side. And I finally just decided to plop some string in there. I, uh, that's kind of the only nice string that I had, even though it's a horrid green color. And I'm still not in love with it, but it's okay. Uh, and so I'll, for the other one, I'll just attach it with some hot glue because that picture is just temporary. That's a postcard I got for my Get Hands Dirty merch. So I might make another video on the top one, which I made using half lap joints. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.